Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Alternatives for Gut-Friendly Eating, with me, Madeline, Avoiding Acid Reflux. Today, we are going to talk about the alternative to pickled sliced jalapenos. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely loved jalapenos, but unfortunately, my stomach did not like it. Um, so spicy foods is a trigger food for me and I needed to find an alternative for that. So what we're going to be doing today is pickled sliced banana peppers. These peppers are mild, so they, they have not created any issues for me with acid reflux. So I hope that this tip and how to create them will also assist you. I use my sliced banana peppers in the way I used to use my sliced jalapeno peppers by putting them in my sandwiches, salads, when I'm making pizzas, I put them as a layer in there um, with my rice and beans and as one of the toppings of nachos. So I'm excited to show you. So let's go ahead and get into the kitchen. Here we are in the kitchen. The process that I use to make my pickled banana peppers is a jarred refrigerated process. The ingredients are four large banana peppers sliced. I get mine at the fresh market and this is what they look like. Half a teaspoon of mustard seed, half a teaspoon of celery seed, two teaspoons of sea salt, one cup of organic white vinegar. Do not use apple cider vinegar because it will not taste the same. One cup of water and one third cup of cane sugar. We will use a pinch of turmeric. And let's not forget that we will need a mason jar. The mason jar is so that we use that tightness so it'll kind of seal the process once it's warm it'll seal it whenever possible try to get all of your ingredients um, organic also if you want to pickle your banana peppers whole you definitely can do that just make sure that you're using a larger mason jar for that what you'll do next is place all of your ingredients except for the banana peppers in a medium saucepan and let that boil. Go ahead and do that and we'll come back to what the next step is. Here I have the pickling brine off of the stove. So what we'll do next is you got to make sure that you put in your sliced banana peppers in your mason jar and then we have to pour the pickling brine into the mason jar. So we'll go ahead and do that. Don't burn yourself. So I'm also going to leave about a half an inch open from the top of the rim of the mason jar. And for me here, some of the seasonings stayed stuck. So I wanna make sure I get that all in here. So I'll use a spoon and take that out. Make sure I put it in that mason jar. If there is some space more than a half an inch from above um, the rim of the mason jar, you can put a little bit more water in it. So I'm gonna do that because I have a little bit of space here. So we wanna make sure that we tighten it now that it's warm or that it's hot. And we let this sit on the counter to cool and what that's going to do is it's going to seal itself during that process before we put it in the refrigerator. And what I suggest is for you to refrigerate the banana peppers for about 24 hours before you utilize them. If you actually leave them in the refrigerator for even longer, they're going to start to taste even better. If you have any questions on this process, please let me know. I will also be putting the ingredients in the description so you guys have a quantity of each ingredient there. Also, let me know if you try it and you enjoy them or if you don't enjoy them. Another thing that I enjoy pickling are pickles. So if you would like those ingredients in that process, which is similar to this one, let me know and I'll make another video 
for the pickled pickles. I hope this video was beneficial to you. And if it was, like it. Also share it if you feel that someone else may benefit from it. Subscribe to my channel so you can receive notifications when I post a new video. I'm hoping to post a video every week, so hopefully you guys will enjoy those going forward. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.